Let's talk about Get More Math and how we can help your students build long-term retention and break that forgetting cycle through our Spiral Mixed Review. We've got a great offer for a full year pilot completely free starting now through July of 2023. First, let's decide if you need Get More Math. Can you relate to this picture? Here today, gone tomorrow. You've taught a lesson, your students understood the math, you saw it with your own eyes, you collected data, you knew this, and you repeat this process going through your standards. Until you get to the middle of the year, it's time to review and suddenly your students are lost. They're frustrated, they're confused, they do not remember the concepts from the beginning of the year, and you realize that you're now going to have to spend tons of time reviewing or reteaching those previously learned skills. Well, I can tell you because I did this in my own classroom that Get More Math's Mixed Review can help make that problem a thing of the past. Let's talk about how it works. Get More Math really does help make the math stick in several different ways. Let's talk about some details. First, there's tons of teacher control. We are not a canned curriculum. Instead, we've got a skill bank of over 3,000 skills organized by grade level, topic, state standards, or unit guides. Teachers will then go through that skill bank to choose the skills that they want to support their scope and sequence. So it's very customizable. We will then take whatever skills your teachers choose and start to build your classes mixed review. However, it gets even better. When students are working in mixed review, the problems that they see on their screen are individualized and prioritized for them specifically based on their needs. As I just mentioned, we are aligned to your state standards and we cover grades three through 11. More specifically at the high school, that covers algebra one, algebra two, geometry, and integrated math. Now let's take a look at a typical day in a classroom. Most teachers would agree that of course they spend some time teaching the lesson and then they spend some time giving their students independent practice. With Get More Math, we both challenge you and support you in an effort to start including mixed review more often. However, it's important that you know that this lesson portion of the day is still very much controlled by your teachers. Your teachers will still create and lead the instruction as GMM provides no instructional content. And we do this intentionally. We believe strongly that the teachers are the best person to be delivering the instruction as opposed to video content. However, once that lesson is complete and we've moved on to the independent practice, you can create and administer that independent practice through Get More Math assignments. As I stated before, the teacher has ultimate control in choosing the skills so that your students will never see a problem that you didn't already approve and see before assigning. Here's an example of what the Teach app looks like. You'll notice here are the grade levels mentioned in the center. Teachers can select any grade level and course, you will have access to all of them, which makes it really nice to pull below grade level content to fill those gaps or above grade level content for those students that need an extra challenge. Then across the top, you'll have those options to look at topics, state standards, unit guides, or map growth. Obviously, I'm showing California here. However, when you log in, we will show your state standards. Here's a sneak peek at the student app. This is an example of that independent practice. The teacher has chosen three skills to support her daily lesson on slope. Now, Get More Math in that independent practice is really looking for our students to prove and show initial mastery. We do this through color ratings. So red is when a student has shown no evidence of any sort of understanding. That's how all colors start. However, once they've shown some initial understanding on that first day, we will level them up to yellow. Once they've reached yellow on all of the skills in their assignment, we will automatically transition them out of the independent practice and into mixed review. We do this on a student by student basis because this is where we're really going to build the long-term retention. Because remember, while they're working in mixed review, they're getting that cumulative spiral practice individualized for their needs. So the problem that they had two weeks ago that they never really grasped, we're gonna make sure we bring that skill back up for that student. However, the skill that they did really well on two chapters ago, they haven't seen it for two weeks, we're gonna bring that skill back up as well. This is how we break the forgetting cycle, by continuing to prioritize skills that are not yet mastered or skills that they haven't seen 
in a certain amount of time and we don't want them to forget it. And we do this again on an individualized basis so that you don't have to. Now, when a student goes and works on a yellow skill a few days later, and they show the program that they still understand the math, we're gonna level them up past yellow to green. Several days later, they work on a green skill, they get that correct, they're going to move to a silver star. And our highest proficiency rating is a gold star. So what we're always encouraging our teachers and students to do is get your skills to green or better. Green or better is showing real long-term mastery over time. So this is more than just, I understood the day the teacher taught the lesson, or I understood the day of the chapter test. This is real time data showing you that your students still know these concepts over time. Now, take a look at a student's mixed review. We don't just see three skills focused on today's lesson, but instead we see all the skills that a teacher has covered over the course of the year and the various proficiency levels that this student has earned. It makes identifying the skills that a student may need extra help with super simple. Let's talk more about interventions. You can look at a student's screen specifically as we just saw. However, you can also look at any given class, see all of the skills that you've taught so far and rank them to see which skills are showing the best results and potentially the worst results. You can then choose any given skill and Get More Math is going to automatically group your students according to their color rating. This makes small group instruction super simple. I don't need to worry about my green, silver, and gold students. However, these red and yellow kids, if this skill is too old, obviously something didn't click. I need to pull them into some small group instruction and give them some additional examples. Well, look how simple we make that. By simply clicking on the problem tab, we are going to display unlimited examples of that specific skill so that I can just give targeted interventions from the very same screen that just helped me identify which students needed the help on that particular skill. Again, I'm just showing you sort of the tip of the iceberg with Get More Math, but if you're interested in a pilot partnership, let's talk about how we can make that happen. Our pilot is a completely free trial for the entire school year. Unlimited teachers, unlimited students from now through July of 2023. It also includes three hours of complimentary professional development to ensure that your teachers will implement the app as effectively as possible to see the results that you want. So how do we get your pilot approved? The first thing we need is administrator approval. So I will need to meet with an administrator at your campus to review the app and the pilot terms and make sure that they're on board. Once we get their approval, we will collect the names and emails of all of your teachers to register, create their accounts and send them their information. And the last piece is simply getting that first training scheduled. We've got several different options, online, on-site, or potentially self-paced training. So we can talk about that with your administrator to see what fits best for your campus. If you have any questions, please reply to the account manager that sent you this demo. We are more than happy to help, but hopefully you can log in to your trial teacher account, get started, create some practice, get your students in the app, start working in that mixed review and really see that long-term retention build over time. Feel free to email us anytime or reach out to our trainers via the small green chat bubble in the bottom right hand corner of your teacher app. Thanks so much.